Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is tonight shrugging off any suggestion that there would be negative fallout from his admission that he was the high-ranking government official who met with the former Police Service Commission chairman back in August. That meeting led to the merit list for commission of police being rescinded. The Prime Minister's admission on Monday ends months of questions and speculation, but in response to questions on the issue today, the Prime Minister said that he did nothing wrong. He asked, since when is providing pertinent information to a service commission considered interference? The Prime Minister said that he did not understand the mystery surrounding the meeting, as he was the only person from the cabinet who, to his knowledge, meets at President's house. The Prime Minister said that he would never tell the POLSC what to do, but they should have all the pertinent information in order to carry out its functions. The Prime Minister said that that was his understanding of an independent commission, and that his interpretation had the support of the Privy Council. But not everyone is seeing it that way. Former Police Commissioner Gary Griffith and United National Congress Senator David Nackett have already written to the Director of Public Prosecutions on this matter. Former Commissioner Griffith highlighted nine issues to the DPP, chief among them whether the Police Service Commission had the authority to rescind the merit list given to the President. In the letter, Griffith says, quote, we are now seeing that the Prime Minister has openly admitted to interfering with an independent process from an independent body, whether it be influencing, intimidating, directing or coercing. It means that he interfered, which can lead to someone being charged. This must be grounds for an investigation. Griffith also says that the previous PSC chairman refused to reinsert him, even when told to do so by the majority of the PSC members. He says that this too can amount to misbehavior in public office. Meanwhile, Senator Nakid says that in light of the admission by the PM that he caused the merit list to be withdrawn, he should now be investigated for misbehavior in public office. Renuka Singh, CNC3 News.